passes. What are you doing out so late? Drinking. Dancing. Just drinking. Next time, go drinking inside the wall. We don't need your kind at our bars. <clears throat> no, uh, you're absolutely right. You really, really don't. Goodbye. Yeah, I know. It's like, and um, there, there are some Dancing. other criticisms. Right then and there, it felt like I'll go back answer. to it. Tell me again about this test. I expected you to run straight to your mistresses, Albani. You may be of some use to us for a while. I will still kill you. Nothing you can do will ever repay your debt to my. But yeah, this game is uh, cheerful. Is there like you there's a lot of diversity in this game, this but it's the result of the game with like the universe Zidling. and the characters really? making sense, really? you know. You know, I'm not actually a Zidling, right, Glumbum? I'm of age and I've already been with several that men. That mouth thing again, Zidling. <laughs> mouth opens up and nothing, and everything just goes in out. Bed, I guess. It is late. He's right. It's never this empty. Something's wrong. We should hurry. <clears throat> we need to keep moving. We don't know how many of them there are. Kian. That was a good catch, wasn't it, Liko? He survived. It was acceptable. Exactly. Uh, totally it is, like, to... natural. I think the gods of old, our boat is still here. Ladies first. That means you guys. You guys were the ladies. It was a joke. Fine. I'll go first. <laughs> I laughed. On the inside. Sure you did. You would have exploded. I don't think your body can handle laughter, Rico. <laughs> I love that. Ilu is just great. She's just super snarky and things like that. It's amazing. And another thing that there is to like consider here, like, like people have when it comes to the people here, they have a distinct different culture. You have the Azadi with their the Dar and the, the, how they interact, how they speak, how they just behave. And then you have the local Mercurians who have their own distinct like way of speaking and behaving. It's such good it's so good attention to the detail of the universe and just you know, culture. This is what like being diverse in a game means. Like not just like Randomly plonking someone in like they're just like oh, yeah, um, this person is from that place uh, Culture is really just the same. I mean it's on the other side of the continent, but it's the same. Yeah, you know uh. I'm glad you're all back safely. How did it go? Kian was awesome. He even saved our lives. I would have caught the arrow Yeah, I know but Kian did and it was awesome <laughs> Any news of the informer? We brought him here for questioning was that wise? He knows our location now. That won't be a problem for long. Maybe not for you, Liko, but it is a problem for me. We don't just execute our prisoners once we're done with them. How did the rest of your mission go? Alvani followed our instructions. He completed his task to our satisfaction. The end result was adequate. Hey, whoa. Don't get all mushy on us now, Liko. <laughs> I'm glad to see that the three of you can work together. While you were away, we received some news. Bob, who can see? Right you are, ma'am. As most of you know, the first of the six has been due to arrive in Mercuria for weeks now. Well, she's arrived. Their cloud ship docked with the tower not an hour ago. And she ain't alone. The first is the Azadi's highest authority. Of course he won't travel alone. 
Aye, there's that, but I'm not talking about bodyguards or handmaidens or the like. No, she's got some real interesting company. One General Hami alongside a Mother Utana. What did you say? Hami, General, Utana, Mother. Do you know them? I do. They're with the first of the six. So word has it. How do you know this? Do you have eyes inside the tower? Not inside, no. On the ground, here and there, close enough. Some tell secrets for money or to protect their own secrets. Some are sympathetic to the Magicals. And some are unhappy with Saida and her lapdog Vamon. They run the city still. Word is, they're intimate. A sister and a soldier. That's a capital crime. Well, that, with Saya ruling the church and Vamon, the state here in Marcuria, there's not much anyone can do. If anyone can, it will be General Hami and Mother Utana. You know them well, then? You knew. You knew they were coming. And you knew my history with them. That's why you freed me from... Nane! Finally. What news from Miria? Liko, Shepard. The rebuilding progresses and... Alvani, you are... on your feet again. The traitor. She betrayed the resistance to save herself. And now she's come back. Don't they know who she is and what she's done? I must tell them before she flees. The traitor. What's that witch doing here? They must not know who she is and what she's done. If I tell them now she's dead, I must confront her in private. So, uh, there is a particular path. I mentioned previously there is a particular path I want things to take, which involves staying quiet about her. Uh, so we're not going to expose her. This is important for later. They're... They're all well. Rebuilding... Uh, apologies, Shepard. I'm... Tired from my travels. I would like to retire to my quarters. Of course. Let's speak tomorrow. That goes for all of us. The hour is late. We will reconvene after breakfast. You knew they were coming. The General and the Mother. That's why you sent Captain Bakim to Friar's Keep. That's why you freed me. Kian. Liko was right. You're using me. All those words about being a symbol, about being important to the Resistance. Does the one exclude the other? You are a symbol. You are a warrior. And now, you're a rebel. I knew they were coming, Utana and Hami. And I knew from our spies in Sardir that you were bound to them both. We saw an opportunity, and we sent Barkin to free you. You can see that we're desperate, Kian. Afraid, alone. <laughs> Most humans have already given up, given in, become comfortable with this new world, with the Azadi. Many have forgotten about the Magicals, or chosen to forget. They carry on their lives, even if we cannot. We few are all that remains of the Resistance. If we lose, all is lost. Our lives, our hopes, our entire future. Lost to darkness. I will do anything to save my people. Make terrible sacrifices, tell lies, anything. Wouldn't you, Kian? So yes, you are a tool. And you are a symbol, our secret weapon, the key to our survival. It's been a long and tiring day, and there's still much I need to do. <laughs> we can continue our conversation another day. Now, let's go and find the armor. When has the weather reports ever been accurate, Mina? I've been expecting you. Why did you protect me in there? Why not tell them what I did? 
I have no intention of protecting her secrets, <gasps> but her selfless actions granted me a second chance. At the very least, she deserves to be heard. I only had a moment to decide. That's not enough time to weigh a person's life. It was her portal that helped me escape the keep. She healed my wounds. She knew I might expose her, and yet... Yet she saved my life. I called her a traitor. But are we so different? I know you had your reasons for doing what you did. There's no excuse. But I did what I did because I believed it was the right thing to do. Will you at least hear me out before making your decision? Everyone deserves to be heard. Maybe the others won't give her that opportunity. I will base my decision on what I know and what everyone deserves to speak. When I gave you the location of our base and betrayed April, I thought I was sacrificing one person to save everyone else. But many died because of my actions. This has haunted me. I have questioned my motives. Did I sell her out to save the shipment of food and medicines? Without it, many would have suffered. The old, the sickly, the children. Or did I betray the resistance to save my own skin? I would have been executed by the Azadi. I truly don't know. Perhaps it was a little of both. Perhaps things are not so black and white. We can never truly know the consequences of our actions. If you keep my secret, I can continue to help. I am of real value to the Resistance, despite my crimes. Turn me in, and more will suffer. But justice, for what it's worth, will be served. It's your choice to make, Alvane, not mine. What is your decision? What will you do with me? Uh, so, there, this one is, uh, this choice hinges not only on her own survival, but on the survival of many other characters. Uh, if we tell everyone, she will be locked up. Uh, and be prevented from doing things she needs to do. If we tell no one, she is capable of saving a lot of lives. And we need She's that to happen. To resistance. Without her, they will be even weaker. I'll be watching you. I promise you won't regret your decision. I will live to repent my sins and serve the resistance. I'm in your debt, Alvane. Always and forever. You saved my life, but I may still call on you one day to do something for me. I'll be ready. Nade is such a wonderful character. It really shows that not everything... It really displays, the, you know, consequence. Like, how you deal with Nade. I think she's one of the more exemplary, um, like, displays of decisions. Is on her way. And how As you, you mentioned him. your choices I affect things. So. You do know she's brought General Harmy and that mother with her. Otana, it means nothing. The General was due back in the Northlands. What about the mother? She's rumored to be next in line for the seat. She wants to be involved. She was also the bleeding heart who practically raised Alvare. She sponsored his whole education. Light. She could be a problem, but what can we do? We make sure none of them know Kian is alive and with the Resistance. Mistress, your presence here honors us. Sister Sire, this is an impressive edifice. It appears your work here has borne fruit. We believe so, Mistress. We welcome you to Malcuria and the Northlands. Anything you need, you let me know. Mother, I'm pleased to see you as well. To have the both of you here is a great honor. Quite. The Seed wants to know how the mission goes, how the Northlanders are handling the transition, and how many of them have chosen to embrace the light of the Goddess. We will speak of this, and much more. For now, we have prepared dinner for all of you. I hope you will join me. Right. Well, I am starving. The food on those cloud ships. General, I did not expect to see you back so soon. Neither did I. What's this I hear about Kian? Yes, what of the Apostle? It pains me to inform you that Alvane died in a riot. 
He was detained under penalty of death until your visit, mistress. Unfortunately, the rebels snuck their agents into the prison. They cut him down and burned his body. Goddess guide his immortal soul to the first mountain. With every respect to you and your seat, mother, Alvani was a traitor. He betrayed the cause and he... May I remind you, sister, that the Apostle was never relieved of his title and should be addressed properly? And may I also remind you that without a proper trial and judgment by the first of the six, his so-called treason remains an accusation and nothing more. Now that he's... no longer with us, we may never know the truth. But our people will not be told that the Apostle was a traitor. Mother. How did you say he died, Commander? Uh, stabbed during a riot. They burned his body, hopefully after he'd bled out. We weren't able to retake the prison until the next morning. I will need to see the keep for myself, Commander, and interview the guards and prisoners. Certainly. I shall make arrangements for you to visit in a couple of days. Don't bother, Vamon. I'll go there tomorrow. You don't have to trouble yourself. I'm sure you have better things to do. <laughs> As you wish, Mir. How is the engine progressing? The engineers are working day and night to connect the tubes. We expect to be able to switch it on according to schedule. Good. I have brought the final instructions from Sadir. The architect will send any remaining modifications by cloud ship. And when the Prophet returns, he will inspect the engine before we switch it on. Have you not spoken with him? Excellent. Not for many months. But he will be here when our goddess-given task is complete. Only he will know how to bring it to life and to interpret the messages from the engine. Of course. Please, will the two of you accompany me to the dinner table? I'm sure the kitchen is worried the food will turn cold before we are seated. General. Commander. Until tomorrow, sister. Mother. My lady. Vamon, if you'll dine with me in my quarters? Of course, Mia. Tell me again what happened at the keep. <laughs> Just keeps on asking, keeps on asking, keeps on asking. If uh, the story changes, he'll know that it's a lie. <laughs>